Hi everybody and welcome to the first video in this series uh, regarding introductory programming concepts using Python. In this series of videos we're going to go through a number of different concepts and each video is designed to address one particular concept or idea uh, in programming. And each video is broken up into a number of parts starting with introducing the concept and then given an example of how that would be used in isolation. So just one simple example of a particular concept and then we're going to put these different concepts together uh, to build up a bigger project. Uh, so we're going to integrate that concept into a larger program. And then of course it's really important that after you've gone through these videos that you do uh, go through some additional practice using some different tasks uh, to consolidate your understanding of all of these different concepts. To start with, um, before we even download any software or anything, we can actually get started with Python online using this website that we have up here and when you do so make sure you select Python 3. There are some slight differences between Python 2 and Python 3 so just to make sure we're all on the same page uh, ensure that you have Python 3 there. So once you make it to this website you should see something similar to this. Uh, you can create an account and sign in but you don't even need to just to create your first programs you can click here and the first one that comes up is Python 3. Once you click on that it takes us through to our workspace and here on the left hand side is where we'll write our code and on the right hand side is where you'll see your app. It is a good idea as we go forward to log in and create an account so that you're able to save all of your work. It's all saved online so you can access it from any computer as long as you have uh, an internet connection. You can also do things like easily share your programs so you can share them with your classmates or your teacher via a link here uh, and it just makes it a lot easier if you have everything online. So now I've logged into my personal account uh, and I've also zoomed on the page so it makes it a little bit easier uh, for you to read what I'm writing here. Uh, I'm just going to put up here in the top uh, a name for our file. So this one's just going to be called Hello World, which is typically the first program you write in any programming language. And all we're going to do here is try and get the text Hello World to be displayed as our output. Now to do this in Python, we need to use the print function. And you can see as I started typing that, uh, lots of different options came up for us. Uh, it's trying to find some keywords that we might want to use and that can help you save time as you're typing everything. So I'll go to print and with all functions in Python after the keyword itself you open the brackets and then close them and then anything that you put in between will be displayed on the screen. In this case I just want to display the text hello world and that text is a string of characters and strings are defined using these quote marks and so I can write hello world and remember to close my quotes there. Now if I click run or just press control enter you can see that my output comes up over on the right. Now this is a really simple program and it's worked as we'd expect but as we go forward we're going to make a huge number of errors and we're going to get lots of uh, problems in our code that we need to solve. So before we go any further um, I'm going to generate some errors just to see what they are and how we can use the information from those errors to help us find out what was wrong. So say I forgot that quote mark there and tried to run my program, you'll see over here it says we have a syntax error, uh, end of line while scanning string literal. And you can also see on the left hand side we have this little cross here uh, which indicates there's an error on that particular line. Now different uh, software packages, different uh, development environments will display these errors in a slightly different way but the messages will be the same. Uh, so now we know it's on that line, it's easy obviously in this particular instance we only just have one line of code um, but we can see there's a problem here and we can see it's at the end of this line so I can see that I need to put in my quotes and it'll run just fine now. I've gone and made another example here just to show you something really important. Uh, sometimes the errors show up on the line after where you think they would show up. So here it's saying on line 3 we have an error, we have an error with our syntax and you can see down here again we've got the cross on line 3. Now if you look closely at this line it looks absolutely fine and it is. The problem is at the end of the previous line. The, the idea being though that the error only shows up once we get to this point. We don't know there's an error there until we get to this line here. That's why the error is listed on line 3. So sometimes you might have these errors and you, you're looking at a line, you think it's just fine, always check the line or the end of the line before that. Okay, that's enough to get us started. Have a play around with those ideas. Make some errors in your code and see what happens uh, with these error messages and how you can use the, that information to help you uh, fix the errors that you do have in your code. 